Elon Musk has done it again. Just when everyone thought Tesla had reached its peak, he dropped a revelation that sent shockwaves through the entire auto industry. He didn't tease, he didn't hint, he announced. You'll see it coming thousands, perhaps millions of times faster than you think. Those were his exact words. And within hours, that single quote exploded across the internet. Tesla forums, tech news outlets, and Twitter feeds all erupted with one topic, the arrival of Tesla's long-awaited $25,000 electric car. But this wasn't the budget EV people imagined. This was the Tesla Model 2, a futuristic creation that looked, felt, and performed nothing like anything Tesla had built before. The first thing that stands out about the Model 2 is its design. It's not a stripped-down version of the Model 3 or a smaller Model Y. It's a complete reinvention, sleeker, sharper, and more intelligent in every sense. The curves are engineered for aerodynamics. The lighting reacts to your surroundings, and the AI-driven interior feels more like the cockpit of a spacecraft than a car. It's Tesla's boldest statement yet that electric mobility doesn't have to come at a premium. And the price? Still set at a stunning $25,000. That number alone is rewriting headlines and boardroom discussions across every major automaker on the planet. But the real story isn't just in the design, it's in the timeline. Elon Musk has officially confirmed that 2026 will mark the beginning of full-scale production for the Model 2. Unlike past delays and speculative roadmaps, this time the foundation is literal, a massive gigafactory rising from the desert soil in Nuevo Leon, Mexico. The numbers coming out of this project are jaw-dropping. Tesla is targeting between 250,000 and 500,000 units per year right from the start. To put that in perspective, that's more than Ford has managed with the Mustang Mach-E since its debut. If Tesla actually hits the higher end of that projection, the Model 2 will instantly become the best-selling EV on the planet, a single model. It's mass-produced, affordable, and globally distributed. There's just one challenge that complicates this perfect vision, the timing of the US EV tax credit. September 2025 marked the end of the $7,500 federal subsidy that helped early Tesla buyers offset costs. In its place, new tax provisions offer smaller deductions, mostly tied to loan interest. That means the first wave of model to buyers 1T have the same financial safety net as those before them. Ow. But Musk doesn't seem worried. In his view, Tesla's advantage no longer relies on government incentives. It's about raw efficiency. By pushing manufacturing costs lower than any competitor, Tesla can sell affordably without needing subsidies. Right now, deep inside Tesla's facilities in Texas, early Model 2 prototypes are being pushed to their limits. Crash tests, stress simulations, and AI driving calibrations are running nonstop. Each destroyed prototype costs over $150,000, and yet Tesla continues to test them month after month. Every crash brings them closer to federal certification. And if all goes according to plan, Approvals could arrive by March or April 2026. That means the first model to deliveries could roll out before summer of that year. But depending on your state, availability will vary. Buyers in Texas or Florida are likely to get their vehicles first. While Californians may have to wait an extra month due to stricter environmental certifications. Behind this acceleration lies a new production philosophy called the unboxed process. Traditional. Automakers build vehicles in a straight assembly line, one piece after another. Tesla, however, has turned that system on its head. In the unboxed method, different modules, chassis, interiors, battery systems are built separately, in parallel, and then joined together like puzzle pieces. The result? Production time cut in half, where building a Model 3 once took 95 minutes. The Model 2 can be built in just 47. That is more than efficiency. That is disruption at an industrial level. By 2027, the gigafactories in Mexico and Texas combined could be producing over a million model to south per year, something legacy automakers couldn't even dream of achieving in such a short time. Energy efficiency is another cornerstone of Tesla's strategy. The company is constructing a 400 megawatt power substation specifically for the Mexican gigafactory, giving it one of the cheapest and cleanest power sources in the industry. At just six cents per kilowatt hour, half the rate of California, Tesla saves roughly $700 per vehicle in energy costs alone. It's 
Multiply that by half a million cars, and you begin to understand the scale of Musk's ambition. But a car is only as good as its battery, and this is where Tesla's engineering brilliance truly shines. For the Model 2, Tesla is using lithium iron phosphate or LFP batteries. They're less glamorous than nickel-based cells, but far more affordable, stable, and durable. At around $85 per kilowatt, these packs can deliver 250 miles of range at an unbeatable cost. Meanwhile, Tesla's R&D division is quietly experimenting with aluminum ion and sodium ion alternatives. Aluminum ion promises three times the charging speed of LFP, though it still faces stability challenges. Sodium ion, on the other hand, performs better in cold weather and costs even less to produce. Insiders say Tesla could introduce sodium ion batteries for European production by late 2027. While aluminum ion may power future versions once the chemistry is perfected, Musk ISNT betting on one solution, he is building an adaptable ecosystem of battery types optimized for each global market. Of course, the Model 2 isn't being developed in isolation. Tesla's internal codenames NV91 and NV93 have become legend among fans. These are next-generation compact models being engineered for global release. Rumors once suggested they were scrapped, but new reports confirm both projects are back in development. The temporary pause in 2024 was NT. Cancellation, it was Tesla perfecting its unboxed production system before integrating it into the new vehicle line, with costs per unit dropping as low as $18,000. Tesla could be preparing to undercut Toyota, Honda, and Volkswagen simultaneously. It's a strategic masterstroke. Build the world's most efficient manufacturing process first, then scale it into the most affordable cars ever made. The economic ripple effect could be enormous. Consider this. The average gas-powered car today costs about $600 a month to finance, plus $200 for fuel. That's $800 just to keep moving. The Model 2 could cut that in half. A lower payments, zero fuel costs, and minimal maintenance. It's not just an EV, it's a financial revolution for everyday families. For the first time, electric vehicles might not just be better for the planet, but better for your wallet too. Globally, Tesla's expansion plan is unfolding like a chess match. Giga Berlin in Germany and Giga Shanghai in China are being prepped to handle Model 2 production once the design stabilizes. These two factories could boost Tesla's total annual capacity to over 2.5 million units. Rivaling Ford's global car output? It's a staggering evolution for a company that started less than 25 years ago as a risky Silicon Valley startup. But the most surprising feature of the Model 2 might not be its design or battery, it's the integration of Starlink. Musk is planning to connect every Model 2 to his satellite internet network, offering free connectivity for emergency use anywhere on Earth. Imagine driving through the middle of nowhere, with no cell coverage, and still being able to message, navigate, or call for help. This ISNT just a car anymore? It s a connected node in a global communication web. Tesla and SpaceX, two completely different companies, are quietly merging their technologies into one seamless ecosystem. 